Hello Cancer, this is Tefnu Light. I hope you're doing really well and thank you for waiting on your weekly reading. My guides told me that I should wait till Jupiter goes direct and Jupiter just went direct. So welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you shifted well with your full moon lunar eclipse and beautiful Libra within Venus in your relationship sector, abundance sector, how you create and how you make your abundance and how you connect in your love life. It is really powerful. So this weekly reading starts on the 6th of April 2015 and it goes on till the 12th of April 2015. So really beautiful energy. I'm going to be working in the Lakshmi room today as my battery went low and I had to come in here, but I did the full moon lunar eclipse reading in here. So it's a very powerful room. So go check that reading out if you have not. It really is a beautiful heart chakra awakening, activating. It's really beautiful. I do a meditation and then I do a full on reading. So, in tarot. So, let's just get grounded and feel within our, in your nurturing essence. Where you're at right now is where you're at, and that's beautiful. And I want to send you lots of love and let, let you know that the energies will start to get a little softer if they're not softer already for you. Middle of the month, so we're just about there. By um, Sunday, you should be feeling that. So, I'm going to be using the Goddess deck today. And I also have these beautiful Norman cards that are handmade that I have that I will be using. And they're very straightforward messages. And it'll be a softer energy with a goddess energy. And this will be more of a masculine. So combining the two, really lovely. So let's go down to your reading and see what goddess would like to show up for you for this week of the 6th of April 2015 on to the 12th. Of April 2015. What messages would like to come up for you this week and see what speaks to you. Beautiful Cancer. All right. This is the goddess that wants to come up. It is the moon card. You are really connected to the moon. Uh, the moon is ruled, uh, rules cancer, rules your signs. It's very emotional shifting. Uh, you feel the moon cycles all the time. You're always in shifting with the moon. So it's a really beautiful essence of the mothering, nurturing, emotional. Mama Kula, just as the moon changes over time, so will your situation. Mother moon. So something is changing in your current energy. This was definitely illuminated by the full moon lunar eclipse. There's something that's going to appear very soon behind that mountain and you'll know what it is. I feel it's going to be a beautiful blessing, something nurturing, something softer for you. If you've been feeling any shifting emotionally or health-wise or anything in your family, I want to let you know it's going to get softer and everything will be well. Just trust the process I'm feeling. So just as the moon changes over time, so will your situation. And this is a positive message, really beautiful. And you have the beautiful illuminating light beam your way like the sun. So, and let's get on to the Lenormand reading. See the essence, what's calling up with the full moon for you, um, really shifting. We're going to be in this energy for quite some time as it's a lunar eclipse and it's beautiful and the right energy will shift your way. Just allow it to happen. All right, this is the card that wants to come up. Oh wow, this is um, this is the coffin card. So something in your past is dying. I hate saying that, but it's transforming. So you use a transformational card. Something in your life is dying. Um, it could also be something to do with um, if you were ill or sick, this time could be passing right now and something better is coming your way. So allow yourself to heal. This could also be a healer working on this man right here. It is the number eight and the number nine. So eight is infinity. Nine is a culmination. The number on the bottom right here is number nine. It's a culmination. And the eight is infinity. And just trust that infinity like the snake of infinity that something is going to be illuminated in beauty and light. So I feel if you've been having health issues, it's going to get better. And something within that energy will transform you and something really powerful will come through that. So allow something within the 
it's, it's about letting go. You're letting go of something. And I'm going to pull one more card just because that was such an interesting card to come up. I want to see what else wants to show. What are you letting go of? Um, is it about an illness? There's a very, it's a very, very deep card. So just allow that to transform you. And I'm going to see what other card wants to come up from the Lenormand just to give you an extra confirmation. So this is the second card. So you're going to find a key. There's a key and through this inner death, this could be an emotional, spiritual death, um, the number eight and number 33. So infinity again, and number 33 is a master builder. So you're building something from this, so to say, letting go of, and I feel it has to do with a full moon. So you let go of something, could be relationship, could be an illness, could be something in your family. It could be something that came up and now you're finding the key to resolve that. So there's a key to happiness, a key to abundance, a key to expansion and key to health. So allow this to fade away and allow the key to show and illuminate itself and ask for help, ask to be healed if you do need some healing. If you'd like to get in touch for a reading or for a distant Reiki healing session, I do those as well, please email me below with the email and I will get in touch within 48 hours. So much love your way, Cancer. Please take this energy softly and really feeling that you're still feeling the energy of the full moon. Just allow that to be released. Um, Pluto wants you really to let go of that right now. And we've had those really crazy um, Pluto, Uranus squares, and now they're over. We just ended that gateway. So allow yourself to come into the new and allow the moon to illuminate the beauty and the newness within you. Namaste, and I will speak to you next week, Cancer. Take good care of yourself. Bye.